On your final today, you had a problem where you needed to find the singularities of a Jacobian for a Revolut, Revolut, Revolut robot. And here is my model of that Revolut, Revolut robot. So the first joint, it's uh, the z-axis is this blue axis here, and it's got a radial offset of one unit. So we can rotate around that joint. And the second joint was also had the uh, z-axis in the same axis. So this is this yellow point right here uh, that also revolutes, but it has no offset. Uh, neither along the Z or along the X, which means that the next joint, the next revolute joint, is coincident with that joint. So this is this joint here that can move up here. This is theta 3. Uh, so theta 3 uh, had a, a radial offset of one unit, and so my end effector is right here in this end. And so my first degree of freedom rotates back here, my second degree of freedom rotates here, and my third degree of freedom rotates here. Now we had two singularities, which can be caused by the second joint or the third joint. The third joint singularities, you can see it happened when the cosine of theta 3 um, is equal to 0. And that happens when this joint is pointed up in the air, and when it's pointed uh, straight down. And the Otinka toys are not a perfect. But you can see that when this is pointed straight down, uh, then I've lost a degree of freedom because a rotating around the theta 2 axis generates no velocity. And so I only had three joints and there's three possible velocities. So when one joint you know, generates no velocity, that's why it's a singularity. Similarly, you know, when it's pointed straight up, when cosine equals zero, I'm now rotating around this axis, tilt it over here so you can see, rotating around this axis generates no velocity. So the other singularity that we had was related to the second joint. And it happened whenever this joint was pointed straight out. So this is when the sine of theta 2 equals 0. That also is true uh, when uh, we're pointed back in ourself. And so you can see that this is a singularity again. Uh, you know, if this is a, a one unit uh, radial offset, then that means that the end effector is right coincident with this uh, with the first axis. And so the only way we can generate a velocity is up and down by rotating this. So we've lost all others. But we also have a singularity when we're pointed straight out um, because I, I can generate a velocity up and down with this one, but rotations around joint one and around joint two uh, produce the same velocity. And so since these two are aligned, uh, we have lost one degree of freedom. That's why, again, we have a singularity. Thank you so much for working very hard in the class this semester, and I hope you go on and build a lot of wonderful robots. All right, bye.